Hey everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play series. This is Devil May Cry 5. So, I've actually, I've actually only played Devil May Cry 4 before, but I am familiar with the series and the characters and the story, so hopefully that won't impact it too much. So let's get going and I'll talk a little bit as we progress. So there was once a demon who saved the human world from destruction. That demon became a legend, but with time his name faded from the annals of history. Now the world faces a new threat. Will the outcome of this battle be determined by man, by demon, or perhaps by Kiro? So I didn't realize it's actually been a long time since Devil May Cry 4 came out. It came out in 2008. So it's been a while. I know there was the reboot that didn't go over so well, so I'm excited to see what this game has. Oh, that's major tryptophobia right there. Look at all those holes. This hole was made for me. That's a reference to a Jinji Ito thing, by the way. <laughs> I'm not just saying that randomly. Doing wasting my time here. He's got this. You should not underestimate this demon. After all, it was he who took your right arm and gained a great deal of power from it. I'm leaving. I suggest you do not fall behind. Is it just me or does V kind of look like? You're an interesting guy, but you're right. Kind of looks like Kylo Ren. I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. So I know that Nero begins this game without his. Well, I mean, he, I know he loses his demon arm in this game and gets it replaced by like a bionic arm. I just didn't think it would happen so early. Like I thought I would be able to play with him with his demon arm for a little bit, but I guess not. But it looks like he doesn't have anything right now. Okay, well first let's uh, ooh, this is a cool menu. I'll remember to turn on uh, subtitles. On. Pretty cool scenery. Well, that was pretty cool. He loaded his gun despite not having his arm. He just tucked it under his his armpit there and reloaded it. That's pretty cool. Nero's my favorite character. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I've only played Devil May Cry Four, not really the other ones, because he's only in that one. Maybe. Hey, you look like Adam Driver. Did anyone tell you that before? I don't think he's motion captured by him. During a jump, press X near a wall. After jumping, press X to wall jump. Okay. Funny how double jumps and wall jumps are something that's pretty staple in video games, and to not have them is kind of kind of weird feeling. Oh, I can't double jump. Even though we can't do these things in real life, <laughs> they're just so commonplace now in video games. Oh, hey, ugly. Oh. It's like a raspberry for a butt and a ball sack for a head. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, when a barrier blocks you off, you have to clear the battle to proceed. I can take you with no oh yeah, you're a badass, Nero. Ooh, red orb. I love how these orbs have, like, actual intricate designs and they're not just plain orbs. Let's try the gun. Press and hold R1 to lock on. Oh, okay, you guys are dead. Well, okay. At least give me more to... to do the tutorial with. If you die too fast, I can't play around. So, this game has stylish points, and so... Like I said before, Sengoku Basara was took inspiration from this game, or from trust you. these games, and so the whole point is to look really stylish and cool, and that's kind of where Basara's gameplay came from as well. If you want to go check out my Sengoku Basara 4 Let's Play, if you haven't already. Oh, you just... Ew. You just, like, pooped on him and he came back to life. Special moves. High roller. Okay, let's try. Each other out. Coming to. Yeah. Oh, come on. Green orb. Badass. Hey, thought you took off. Do you not understand? We cannot hope to do this without you. That's all right, superstar. Go on with your bad stuff. Go ahead. We got this. <laughs> okay, Birdie. So, to go along with like the stylish behavior of this game, these games are done pretty well because you can look really really cool just by mashing buttons and look super stylish and badass even though you don't really know what you're doing, which is fantastic. And yet on the other hand, there's also like a, like a high ceiling to this game. If you beat it and then play it on a higher difficulty, it's actually really hard and you actually really gotta know your stuff and all the, the attack frames and all that stuff too. So. It's kind of nice that it kind of appeals to the casual player and makes them look cool while also appealing to the hardcore player. Starring the DMC crew, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. Oh, since we just finished uh, Persona 5 Strikers, did you know that Dante was actually a, a guest character in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, which is also part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, which is what Persona originally originates from, if you are not familiar with that. So that's pretty cool. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is actually getting a, a Switch remaster coming out pretty soon, I'm, I'm excited for that. Ooh, this is such a cool environment. Okay, let's go help our friend Dante here. You okay, bud? Hey, lady. Hey, Trish. That character's name is actually Lady. I'm not just calling her Lady because I don't know her name, by the way. Well, looks like this won't be a total waste of time after all. Hey, jackass! Did your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? <laughs> Sorry, Dante. I'm back 
in this bitch. He's so cool and confident for a guy that only has one arm. So they didn't really teach me how to guard or dodge. So I know if I oops, if I lock onto him and then jump to the side, I can roll. Ah. Uh. So this fight is supposed to be unwinnable, but I read that an experienced player actually can win this fight. And if you do, you get like a really boring ending where it's just like, oh, everyone lived happily ever after, the end. Like it's not even a satisfying ending. So much blood that my hair is turning red. Hey, Kylo Ren, if you'd help me. This is it. This is the end. It's all over. <laughs> V's just like, uh, <laughs> what do I do? That's a cool update to his Devil Trigger appearance. got crushed there. His other arm. Google's improved graphics, they've come so far since the first game. This is the first one they did for the PS4 generation. I mean, other than the reboot. Protagonists here don't seem overly concerned. Look how, like, look at all the people just being impaled and lifted and destroyed, and Nero's just like, whatever. <laughs> the Devil May Cry series has never had many interactions with just the random human bystanders before. I always just chalked it up to being the fact that the old games, they didn't want to model too many extra characters and put them into the game with all that extra effort, so... 
at the same time, it never really felt like there were many stakes in the game because you didn't really see the people that you were rescuing, so maybe this will be different. So this is the fifth game in the series, and it is actually the fifth game chronologically. Now that wasn't actually always the case though. So originally it was supposed to be Devil May Cry chronologically 3, 1, 4, 2. And then 5 takes place after 4. But then they went back and changed their minds and said 2 actually happens earlier. 2 actually happens before 4. So the new order became 3, 1, 4, 5. No, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5 instead. So that's why you'll find conflicting information on the chronology online is because the creators actually changed their minds. Just an interesting fact. One month later. That name is Redgrave for a city. Same crap, different day. So, tell me. Tell you what? How's it feel to be rescuing the guy that killed your father? Hey, I'm glad we're getting personal. Well, he abandoned my mother and I and left us for dead. I feel nothing. Well, he's not exactly going up for father of the year ward now, is he? His research wasn't half bad. Came in handy. Now we're thanking for that. I have to do that in here. It already smells like ass. That's you. <laughs> Yeah, make sure to hit every single one. So cool. <laughs> Just slowly wipes them off. This game series knows how to make things stylish and over the top, but in a good way. Oh, look, credits. Catching the cigarette. If, you're, if you can read this, you're driving too close. Is that what it said? Oh, he's just slipping back into the car. That's so cool. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> This game does not promote smoking or the use of cigarettes. Very good, I like that disclaimer. 6 my god 099. Alright. 
pretty cool, pretty cool intro. What a bunch of wimps. They have more firepower than Nero does with those little with those guns of theirs. And yet What's going on? <laughs> you get him, Nico. You look like you need a hug, but you're not gonna get one from me. Better get lost. Hey, who are you? Hey, you're gonna get yourself killed! Don't crap yourself. He likes to kill demon things. Let him do his thing. You hear what I said, you dumb one I'm son of a bitch? You're gonna die! Cheer up, crew cut. Ooh. You taking notes? Yeah. I appreciate a game that lets me just punch the lights out of everything instead of using a sword or a gun. All right. Time to kick some ass. These games toe the line between like looking super cool or being super cheesy with the way that they write their lines and stuff, so it's like the little quips and taunts could be kind of cringy, but in some contexts are also cool. It's really hard to to toe that line. Nico's devil chip. Breakers are fragile, shattering if you take a hit when using them. So if I take damage while using the Devil Trigger, or the Devil Breaker, I risk breaking it. Okay, so that's a new mechanic, because in the previous one he had a demon arm, which didn't break, and now I have a mechanical arm. Okay, I can charge it up too. I've got some cleaning up. Yeah, that's super handy. Get over here! Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. That was it. Give me more gameplay. <laughs> He's riding it. <laughs> She's just explaining it to the guy, and the guy's like dying, and he's like, "What?" <laughs> hey, psycho! Watch the merchandise! Hey, stop bitching and take cover! <laughs> I kind of wish the arm was a little bit bulkier or chunkier because it looks kind of slim, so kind of gives Nero a weird build or silhouette. I can forcefully sever the Devil Breaker to generate an explosion to get out of dangerous situations. Ow! <laughs> Oops. I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Oh look, another arm! Touch a Devil Breaker. Walk over any Devil Breaker you'll find in your path to pick it up and equip it automatically. Oh, so Nico just leaves these lying around or something, or...? Hey, why didn't you... why didn't you grab it? Does it not detect this tentacle as an enemy? Dismal. You're not really giving me survivable enemies to take my combos. Oh, 
like how they give all the regular enemies a little mini intros when you meet one for the first time. They did that in the previous game too. I also have the auto combo function on, which makes it so that Are they collecting human blood? if I mash it's not just about feeding. buttons, then sometimes it'll auto combo, so I can look really cool without actually needing to know the ins and outs of every combo, which is kind of nice. Ow, what exploded? It does take away from your score a little bit if you use the auto combo, but come on, you get to look super cool. So I don't care if I look a little lazy because of that. I'm not planning to tackle this game on a higher difficulty. Yeah, come on, that's not what I meant to do. I feel like sometimes the controls can be a little bit finicky because it's supposed to be like smart and detect based on your position. Ch change some of them accordingly, but... That could just be part of the auto combo though, so I'm not sure if that's me or if that's just the game. Probably me. What a lovely house plant. Cliff off roots. Blood slicks it does say vegetarian or vegetable. <laughs> now I get it. Who brought the marshmallows? Because I'm bringing the fire. See, it's so cheesy, but it's kind of cool coming from Nero for some reason. Okay, so, like in the previous game, they mentioned that his sword has like a motorcycle engine in it. Which seems really impractical, but if you rev it up, you can charge up your powers and make them stronger. Move side to side to evade attacks, okay. Ow. Can't do it in midair though. Ow, I was trying to grab the orb. Oh, come on. Why do I have to hold two buttons to dodge? Why can't I just be a one button press? I can't dodge in midair. So not fair. I feel like the dodge mechanic's kind of wonky. Hey, tough guy. That'll keep him, but not for long. What do you mean? Soldier Boy said City's gone to hell and back, taken over by the underworld. Not just here, but everywhere. Yamato did this. Yamato is the name of Virgil's sword. Virgil is Dante's brother, and Nero's father as well. Well, they never like directly say that he's Nero's father, I don't think, but it's like super, super, super heavily implied that everyone pretty much knows it. Don't get used to it. Nico, I showed you those order docs. So you still owe me, remember? Hey, you two! Ready. Was that Kyrie? Hey, why don't you go ahead? I'm gonna finish up here. I'll try to save you some. Not. Ooh, his devil arm. Looks a little different. It used to be more red. Hey, dude. You, uh, you need something? What is it? You hungry? Well, you're in luck, pal, cause food's ready and Kitty always makes too much. He's so nonchalant about this stranger. Got a pair of those upstairs. You see something you like. Maybe he's just super cocky and badass that he doesn't what the hell? isn't thinking much about it. You a demon. Nero, the food's getting cold. Kitty, get back here! 
Oh, he has my arm. <laughs> taking this back. Is that Virgil? <laughs> kind of a delayed reaction with all that blood and pain. Oh, I totally forgot that. I totally forgot that Nero absorbed the sword Yamato with his arm. So Nero's girlfriend, Kyrie, I believe is an off-screen character in this game. I don't think she actually appears. He's waiting for us up ahead. Try not to get us killed on the way there. Oh. He just got shot in the face. Yeah, Nero had this red, like, demon arm in the past game, and it was really cool because you could grab enemies and do, like, slam attacks and grabs and throws with them. And I really liked it. I think it was my favorite part. I think that's the reason why I like Nero and I, why I liked playing as Nero. So I haven't really touched the other Devil May Cry games as a result. Because I'm mostly a Nero fan. That's it. No more wheels from here. All right. Guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo! Check it out. What? And this is? From Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. It's been a good 30 years since I last wrote something like a letter. Don't have a typewriter or nothing, so unfortunately you're stuck with my shitty handwriting for now. I heard you're heading back to Redgrave. Wasn't sure exactly what I could do for you. I'm not a powerhouse like you, or the sharpest knife in the drawer. Still, given my business, the least I could do is get you a few leads. Can't say exactly how useful they'll be to you, but hey, gotta be better than nothing, right? So the first time I met Dante, he actually went by a different name. Tony Redgrave. Oh. But that got your attention, huh? Tony Redgrave. Redgrave City. Just a coincidence or something more? I honestly can't say. Still, figured if you're heading in that direction, you might be able to learn the truth yourself. That's why I've decided to tell you everything about the Dante I know. It ain't every day that I just give this stuff away, boy, you'll be... Oh, blah, blah. It ain't every day that I just give this stuff away, boy. You'd best be grateful. I misread where the, the punctuation was in that last sentence. Wait, weren't you going to tell me more? The more missions you complete, the more information you'll be able to view. He's like, I'll tell you everything I know about Dante, and that's the end of his letter. <laughs> hey, are we doing this or what? I'm waiting on you. I'm cooking. Any special orders? Is it just me or Nico? Kind of has a chipmunky vibe to her. Like the way her smile is and the way her teeth kind of show through her smile. So yeah, like I said before, they changed the chronology of the Devil May Cry games with the release of 5. They changed where 2 took place. Which doesn't really affect the main story. Just makes it unfortunate that for the characters that were in number two. Now that I got it in stock, you better take advantage of it. Ooh, new arms. Literally armed to the teeth. You can use red orbs to acquire skills, replenish items, or change equipped gear to help you get a leg up in battle. Or an arm up, am I right? Cycle through the tabs. Skills, Devil Breakers, Equipment, and Items. So, so I have two Devil Breakers and I can hold one more. But I don't really want to spend money on this. Not if they're going to leave some in the environment for me. Look at them just hanging in the background like that. 
I don't really need healing items or revival items. So, abilities. Ooh, speed. So it looks like these are good, like, mobility skills. I'd like some of those, but they're kind of pricey. Pack more power into your gunshots. I don't really need that. These are more combos. I could use some of these, but I want to focus on getting my ability, my abilities first. It's an upgrade to my charge up attacks. I can get that later. Hold another double breaker. Well, we'll see how we do with just the three for now. I kind of want this air height because this is a double jump. That'll help me with traversal and exploration too. So I'm gonna save for now. So yeah, because Devil May Cry 2 had a girl in it as a female lead named Lucia, and she has not appeared in any game since, and that's because chrono chronologically 2 took place later. But now that 2 takes place between the events of 1 and 4, that means that Lucia just simply hasn't had an appearance. They keep bringing back Lady and Trish, but they haven't brought back Lucia. Now I don't know how popular she is, probably not, because I think number 2 is like the black sheep of the series, but it's just unfortunate for her character. And this series in general doesn't have many playable girls. Like, Lady and Trish were playable in, like, the remaster for Devil May Cry 4, but it was kind of like an optional mode. Or like a DLC or something like that. So, traditionally it's just Dante, and then later they added Nero. So, and then Virgil, quote-unquote. But, I'm okay with this, because Nero's my favorite character. Although I must say, I kind of like his design more from Devil May Cry 4 instead of 5, and I might be the outlier in this. Just personal preference. Oh. Okay. Oh. There you go. Hey, don't honk at me! Yeah, I'm lonely. Let's <laughs> charge at my sword. I feel like it used to have more of an impactful sound. It doesn't really feel like I'm charging it up and it's very easy to miss that cue. I need to catch up to v fast. So yeah, like I was saying, Nero, I like his design in 4 a little bit more because he had red and blue in his outfit and now he's mostly just blue and the red is very, very subtle, and I kind of liked having both of them. And I also kind of liked his slightly longer hair. I feel like his hairline's a little bit too high in this version, makes his forehead look a little big. And I know, I know, maybe I'm the outlier on this, but I liked his, like, anime pretty boy face from Devil May Cry 4 a little bit more, because in this one they made him a bit more rugged, like he has a bit more of a jawline and a slight, like, cleft chin. This idol animation of his. What a punk. Oh. But I mean, he's still cool. And he's voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. I've met Johnny Young Bosch at a con before. He's, he's a really nice guy. Oh. People. Wait. What a mess. These are... I was gonna say frozen people, but they're not. They're... Ew, they're all like... Holy... Oopsie, sorry guy. Ugh. Well, that is not what the human circulatory system looks like. I was gonna say it looks almost like if you go to Body Worlds and you see they take some bodies and they fill the circulatory system with plastic and then they dissolve the rest of the body so you're just left with the circulatory system, but this is not what the circulatory system looks like. It's like a little coral reef thing you got going on here. Oh, the, <laughs> this kid's holding onto her balloon still. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to break that kid. There's nothing sadder than... Oh, there's a mannequin. Save their springtime. There's nothing sadder than a child who's lost their balloon or a child who's dropped their ice cream. I don't know why. In the media, it's just really, really sad when I see that. Good 
Get some orbs. Yeah. Length and variety of your combos determines your stylish points. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try the dodging. It feels kind of clunky. Oh, I can't dodge forward or backwards. I can only dodge left and right. That's a little annoying. And it's only like an immediate left or right. Like, I can't do diagonal. So no matter where I am in position to the enemy, I think I need to be pressing left or right. That's a little annoying, actually. And I need to be locked onto them to dodge. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh. The reach on my arm is not as long as I, as I thought. Darn it, my score dropped right at the end there, because I couldn't grab the guy. Can I go up here? Do I need to double jump? Oh, nice. Okay, I really want the double jump. It feels weird to play a game where you can't double jump, even though it's not something you can do in real life. Hey, bruh. Well, that's not who I was aiming for, but I'll take it. No, come on, Nero, go this way. Crazy. No, I want you to grab. No, not him. I want you to grab. Grab this guy, there you go. Okay. It's a little clunky, I feel like... I feel like Spider-Man does it a little bit better. It feels a little bit more fluid. There's another game I played on this channel, if you haven't checked it out. Just the Miles Morales one. Because I played the first Spider-Man game before I started YouTube. I kind of want the running speed upgrade too, but I think I gotta pick and choose. What are demons doing in a city like this? There's something to this place. There we go. Oh, I, I thought I was getting hit, but I'm just like rocket propelling myself around somehow. So does Nico just leave these arms? Like, does she just come to these places ahead of time and then drop some off for me or something? Is that my new arm that's launching me around? This Gerbera? Stop launching me around everywhere! I thought that if I picked up a new arm, it would put it in my like last slot, not equip it right away. Can I do? Can I change that? Uh, break away, exceed, taunt. Oh, I can taunt. Pause. Unuse. Lock on. I kind of wish they switched the melee attack and the gun attack, because I'm used to having square as my attack, like in Basara, instead of triangle. Can I change my arm? Okay. I like how the UI is very minimal when I'm standing around not doing anything. I like it when a game does that, because then you can take nice screenshots. Well, I think there's a photo mode, right? Oh yeah, photo mode. How do I change my... My arm, though. Okay, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Well, let's taunt. Shall we dance? <laughs> it's so cheesy, but still somehow cool. What'd you say? <laughs> Shall we dance? Is it just the two? 
Come on. Okay, that, that's pretty standard taunt. I like that one. Show me dance. This one's kind of a bit too extravagantly weird for me. What'd you say? That one's okay, I guess. Show okay. me dance. Oh, I can't even cancel out of it. Okay. Yeah. See, these games do such a good job on the cinematic, like, fight cutscenes. I kind of wish the cutscene with him getting his arm taken away was a bit more cinematic. Stop rocket shipping around, Nero. Please. I mean, I kind of like the mobility, but sometimes he does it when I don't want him to. No, don't miss. I'm treating the the Devil Breaker almost like uh, Spider-Man's web slinging. Like when I finish killing enemy, I press circle to try to grab another enemy and bring him towards me, but sometimes it doesn't do that. So, like, combat doesn't feel as smooth as Spider-Man. Which is a little unfortunate. Can I change my arm? I don't want to forcibly break this one, though, just to change it. Overture. I kind of like Overture. Can I just break this one? Sorry, Nico. I don't like Gerbera. 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 Oh. Where are the enemies? Oh, there they are. Battles don't last long enough for me to appreciate the music. Oh, hey, V. It's confusing that his name's V, and then we also have Virgil. Like, I wonder if there's a connection there. Oh, hey. Okay, you're not even gonna let me. Oh, come on, Nero. You could totally just jump down there. On these tentacle things. Can I shoot this? Okay, come on. Yeah. Fine, we'll go this way. Trying to stop me. Ew. Oh, whatever shall I do? What is that? Does that have to look so anatomical? What's this? Huh. Yeah, I can make it. Ew! Ew! Just shove it in your pocket. Ew! Nidhog Hatchling. Hatchling of the parasitic Nidhog. It feeds on weakened parts of the cliff off, destroying its internal structure. Oh, it's so gross looking. Okay, goodbye. Um, I guess I shoved that in here. Ugh, why does it have to look so. Ugh. It's like dripping with like pus. Okay, go in there, little bud. Come on, get away from it. It's gonna like explode. Ew. Okay. 
Why don't you worry about getting your clothes dirty? Yeah, you should just have your way through, Nero. He doesn't seem like a demon to me. No, Gerbera, I don't want you. Is it just me or do like the music in the background here when you hear the piano? It kind of sounds like the beginning of the Final Fantasy interlude. Oh, just because it shares a couple notes. Wait, which way did I come from again? We just came up the stairs, Nero. Press and hold, and you lost your way. Okay. Why don't you just give me a mini map or something? That'd be nice. Back here. Is there anything up here? Oh. Yes, not. Which way do I want to go? I want to find the secrets. Secrets. Ew, it's another one of these. I'll just shove this in my pocket. I need to get in the habit of locking on, because a lot of attacks I think you can only do when you're locked on. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to actually break. Anything down here? Ooh. Gather four pieces to make an orb. Blue orb fragment. Oh, so they're like heart containers. How do I get back up? I can't double jump. Ah. I was like, what's this big patch on the floor that looks like it's different than the rest? There must be more secrets like that. I must have missed some. <laughs> For a second, it looked like he kissed it. Because of the angle of the camera, it looked like he held it up to his mouth and went, Mwah. Because it made like the squeaking sound when he held it up to his, his face. All these fake doors. Nothing good on TV. Actually, okay, so between Devil May Cry 4 and 5, they came out with this reboot, which was made by Team Ninja, the people who do like Ninja Gaiden, and it received a lot of backlash, mostly because they rebooted Dante's design and kind of changed his personality and backstory, which I can understand because Dante's a very beloved character. But, like, honestly, the game, I didn't play it, but I watched some cutscenes and gameplay of it, and honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I think it's just, if they made it with a completely new original protagonist, instead of just making it like a new version of Dante, I think it would have been much better. And the reason why I say that is because I remember one of the demons in that game was like a newscaster. Like he was a human newscaster, and it was revealed that he was actually a demon. And he was really interesting because his boss battle like involves him using like static television screens and like digital manifestations of himself. It was actually a really cool idea, I think. Hey, I'm talking here. Uh, okay. Well, 
Someone was trying to summon a demon on the wall. As you progress through missions, you'll come across special patterns scrawled across parts of the environment. Stand on the glowing point nearby and adjust your viewing angle to line up with the pattern correctly. This will access a secret mission. Secret missions give you a challenge, okay. Oh. How am I supposed to line this up? It's not perfect. Line's a bit too short. Maybe I gotta back up a little bit. That looks pretty close to me. Oh, that little circle-y thingy in the bottom needs to be lined up. There, come on. Back a little. Oh. Uh... There we go. Let me all the demons. Sounds like the announcer from Killer Instinct. Ultra combo! Let's beat up this car while we're at it. Oh, come on, you guys are just out of reach. Savage. Come on, there we go. Gimme. Remember when I first played Devil May Cry 4? Like, it was among one of the first games I played as well. Uh, cause I was kinda late on the whole console gaming thing and I haven't really played any like action games like that before and I came up against my first boss character like giant demon the size of like a small building and I was such a weenie that I just stood far away from it pel pelting him with bullets which you know realistically sounds like a safer option but did such little damage to him and then like it wasn't until later I realized that you're actually supposed to get up and like slash him in the face I was playing too like defensively because I I guess I was treating it more like a horror game because I was all like, oh, I gotta stay, stay safe, right? Now I know you just, you're supposed to just run headlong into everything with your sword. It's much more effective and cooler. I would always choose to do a cool melee attack over a, a ranged attack. That's why I usually play like melee characters in games nowadays. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Or, let's dance, as Nero would say. I like the slow-mo finishes. Spider-Man has that too. I still miss the demon arm though. The demon arm was super cool because what you did was if you want to like finish someone off, like you would use it and Nero would like uppercut them or punch them and then grab them and do like a like a throw attack or a grab like in like in a fighting game. It was a little more cinematic. And it was just fun. That doesn't look good. Really sick of this stupid tree. Yeah, stupid tree. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, 
Okay. Guess I can't fight that. Oh, hey. I can fight you guys. No, don't aim at that. It's kind of annoying the camera keeps wanting to point itself downwards. Like, I can't really point it upwards very easily. Okay. No, don't aim that way. There you go. Little Nidhogg. There's an arm up there. Well, I don't need it. Go away, Gerbra. Gerbra, I don't want you. Oh. I was too heavy for the street. Look at how cool that was. Oh, they have nooses around their necks. Kind of remind me of like, uh, Arkham Asylum Scarecrow's design. Oh, I'm right into it. No, come on. Stop swinging in midair in the arrow, please. Hey, why'd you just change the angle on me? Ow. I wish you could dodge forward and backwards, or even diagonally. They should just make the dodge a single button input instead of a lock on and press it. Oh well. Can I travel in the pipe? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, give it a little kiss, Nero. It looks like a kiss. The sound effect. So gross. Just looks like a big turd. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This new arm is pretty sweet. So are we gonna learn how we met Nico? Because it sounds like they were working together already, but she's a new character for this game. Same with V, he just kind of appeared and we we're, were just like, hey, cool. We know you, right? ringing. Some telephones still have active phone lines. Okay. Hello, Moshi Moshi. No, don't punch it, Nero. Guess the phone still works. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened to the third ring roll? Tell you what, you call me from now on and I'll hustle all over. She has like a car phone. Like a cordless car phone. Oh my gosh. She is wild. I like her. How do we meet these people anyways? You can call Nico's trailer when you can trade red orbs for skills and items. Any telephone you find is a chance to call Nico. How's she gonna drive to every location though? Like, the roads are not made for driving. They're all broken and everything. Okay, let's buy some abilities. Let's get the double jump. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save up for Wire Snatch too. Thanks, Nico. That's kind of cool. You can hear the music inside, but it's like muffled because you're outside the car now. 
Such a long trailer. It's so easy to just to damage it and then not be able to drive it anymore in this type of post-apocalyptic scenario. It's so cheesy, but it's so badass. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here about this big uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Your blood is a very precious sacrifice. I must have every last drop to rule the underworld as king. King? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> He's such a badass. He's so cool. Basically, a younger Dante is basically what he is, right? Yeah, maybe I will. Sorry, I'm good. Ah. I can't dodge in midair, dude. That's not fair. Oh. Come on. I was like in slow motion and then stuck there. Oh, I broke an arm. Oh, I broke two arms because I used one to escape. How dare you break my arm? Oh look, an arm on the floor right there. Let me go get that. Whack him in the butt. Come on, for a tutorial boss? You think you're all that? You're just a tutorial. Hey, birdie. I curse my stars in bit of grief and woe. That made my love so high and me so low. <laughs> kind of weird, V.
Oh, that's cool. His tattoos, like, turned into his panther here. Hi the home. The last words you hear before you die. Oh come on, I wanted Nero to do a cool finisher on him. Thought I was gonna have to pick you out of his uh tummy teeth. Pardon my delay. I was catching up on some reading. Yeah. Looks like a real page turner. So, uh, you think Dante's still in there? If yours defeated him, then I expect he's not much more than Glyphoth pollen by now. A what? Glyphoth. It's a tree that grows in the underworld. It thrives on human blood, and those whose blood it sucks, well, let's just say they don't turn out too well. Well, in any case, we need to find out. If Dante's alive, we'll save him. If not, we don't. Wait. First, we need to exterminate some Clyphod roots. V, what the hell are you? Where'd you come in driving from? The roads were all clogged. Hey, you must be V, huh? Hey, you're gonna get that? She drove in from like a cliff face. Can you just sniff it? Did you just sniff that? That's what I just said. Do you have any idea where that's been? Up your butt. Good one. Focus on the mission. Does V have like a corset under his jacket? Nice. So in this game they pronounce it Clyphoth. So I always pronounce it as Clyphoth because that's what they say in Tales of the Abyss. I think we should split into two groups and cover more ground. Good idea. Behold. My genius. <laughs> Cash first. All the materials I collected for your little pet projects don't count. But I pay you with orbs. My brilliant badass work is worth every dime, you know it. <laughs> well, your quality control sucks ass, and you know that. Or maybe don't let the demon smack you around so much. Whatever. <laughs> I am truly gifted. <laughs> it's a work of art. <laughs> So you're an artist now, huh? Yes, I am. Got any questions, little chicken? <laughs> little chicken. My grandmother was called the 45 caliber virtuoso, legendary gunsmith. I hope to be like her someday, an artist and a lethal artisan. Everything I create is art, whether it's a gun or a steel pot to cook birds in. She's got an interesting accent. Any more questions? Huh? Little cheeky. I'll take my leave now. And if I don't see you along the way, I'll see you at the bottom of the Clyphod. Sure. What are you gonna do? I gotta shake the cobwebs out. I'll let you know. Hey, you got any more questions? Better ask it now. I can't read minds. Ooh, we'll get it.
So if she made that new arm with that demon part I gave her, how is she going to make more of them? Because I don't think, I don't think I'm going to find more of those Goliath guys to give her more of those parts. Unless she just rations it out. Oh well. I give up trying to understand the lore behind some parts of this game. Like the fact that she leaves arms around everywhere. Hey V, I thought you said you'd leave. I didn't know that you were going to stick around here. Let's do a quick customize. Oh, I, I didn't want a loading screen. I wanted to select customize. Okay, that was pretty quick. Hey, I got a new arm for ya. Punchline. Okay, I like this one. Elder Skelter. <laughs> I really worked up a sweat on that one. Oh. I kind of want the punchline. Okay, but first I'm gonna upgrade this skill. Do I want speed? I kind of want speed. Increase orbs, or well, that's just the range, okay. I don't really need that, it's kind of expensive. I could start buying some of these. You know what, I'm gonna buy speed. So I can run faster, that'd be nice. And then I'll just buy whichever one of these that I can afford. Split. I kinda want I kind of want this one just because it's on the ground. Oh, it's just, it's an upgrade of this one, but it has more range. I always find that I break my combos because enemies fly out of range. Okay, this one seems useful. I'll get this. It seems almost the same thing. You just press triangle a bunch of times. Is it because I'm on auto combo mode? Does it adjust the command help sections? Okay, let's I'll buy this one since it's cheap. So, Overture is like the electric blast. Gerbra is a mobile one that lets you cancel attacks with shockwaves, fire beams. Punchline runs rampant, offering powerful strikes and flying rocket punches. Okay, that's cool. You can mount it to move around. Oh, I saw this one in the trailers. I don't want to spend my orbs, so maybe I'll just wait till I pick one up. Alter Skelter, lack of range with piercing power. So it'd be nice if I knew how to change these arms on the fly. Okay, I don't need to buy in bulk. Okay, that's it for now, I think. Jockey. Gerbera skill that allows the user to release a powerful shockwave from the palm of their hand. Good for evading and stopping projectiles. See, if I knew how to control these things a bit better. Okay, so I think I'll leave that there for, for the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I'm having fun with it. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have to offer and how the story goes. I'm told it's not a super long game. Most of the Devil May Cry games aren't that long, but I think like they're meant for you're supposed to beat it and then go back and beat it again on a higher difficulty and get all the collectibles. So if you do that then you can stretch out the playtime, but we'll see how I feel by the end of it. Maybe I'll just do the story mode once, but if I really like it maybe I'll go back and try some hard difficulty things on my own time. We'll see. So thank you so much and Look forward to the next episode. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate that as well. If I can get 100 subscribers, I can get a custom channel URL, which I would very much appreciate. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much, and bye bye